So having Windows 11 on the RG Ally or Ally X has many benefits, such as the ability to play Game Pass games natively and also online multiplayer FPS games that require anti-cheat like Black Ops 6 for example. However, as we know that Windows is just not optimised for gaming, but not to worry as here is a de guide to get rid of the unnecessary Windows junk and free up precious memory resources in just 5 simple steps. And this of course works for all Windows based PC handhelds like the Legion Go 2. So as we start, I already assume that you've got your ally already fully optimized using my 14 step guide. And if you haven't for some reason, then the link is in the description. For step one, let's open command center and change our control mode to desktop. Then press the right trigger, which is the right click onto the start menu. Then click on a terminal and in brackets admin, then click yes on the pop-up. Now don't get freaked out with this terminal stuff. And so for step two, let's type this, which is IRM space Chris Titus dot com forward slash win. Hit the one, two, three button, then this right arrow, then this line icon, then space and I E X. So it should look exactly like this. And it should read IRM space Chris Titus dot com forward slash win space this line icon space I E X then press return and it will now bring up this screen for step three. Let's now deep bloat windows. So let's head to the tweaks tab at the top and click on the standard, which then ticks most of these items on the left. If you use a lot of Xbox gameplay recording, then you may want to untick the game DVR option. We absolutely 100% need to untick the disable Wi-Fi sense option, otherwise it'll probably cause Wi-Fi issues. I want to debloat the edge browser, so I'm going to tick this. And you may want to tick the set hibernation as default, which is generally better than just sleeping our ally during a game to resume later. I really wouldn't recommend touching the advanced tweaks as debloating our ally can really mess our ally up. In fact, I was very close to basing this debloat guide on a third party app called Blow to Nose, which seems very, very popular. But if we're really not careful, then yes, as I say, that stuff can really get messed up that I don't want to risk. But if you use Blow to Nose it, then give us your thoughts and tips below in the comments. So with our boxes now ticked, we can hit the run tweaks button on the bottom left and the magic will begin to clear out all of the junk and do some de-bloating. Yes! When it's finished, we should get a tweaks finished blue message on the top right. It took my alley about 10 minutes to do this. And here on the right, we can customize windows preferences, like changing the theme to dark if we like this. And I'm going to disable the widgets button in taskbar. So stuff like the news and weather won't keep popping up, which can be annoying. For step four, let's now head into the config tab. And on the right, I'd recommend heading into the power panel section and just making sure that our ally is on performance for the optimum gaming experience. On the left, we can reset any Windows updates, which is super helpful if any do mess up our ally. And if we click on the setup auto login, we can enter our Windows password here. So after this, when we press the power button, we enter straight into Windows, which is Ace. And now let's do our final step. And yes, finally for step five, let's head into the window settings and into apps. And it really is worth spending a few minutes here to free up valuable SSD space by uninstalling any games that we haven't played in a while, like A Plague Tale for me, and also any Windows apps that we just really don't use. So for me, it's Windows Copilot and also Windows Teams, for example. Manually uninstalling these is generally considered better and much safer than using automated deep bloaters like blow to nose I mentioned earlier, which can be overly aggressive. I may also remove essential system services, which can then cause irreversible damage. But I'd love to hear your thoughts and tips on this fragile area of deep bloating. So please do let us all know in the comments. And a huge thanks to the amazing Chris Titus for his incredible Windows utility scripts that we used for this. And I'll link his full vid below. And also to our great viewers, Phil, for recommending Chris's deep bloat method. And also Aris, who recommended us not to disable the Wi-Fi Sense option. 
If you haven't already, I would love it if you could hit the like button and subscribe to the Pete Talks Tech YouTube channel if this helped you. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. You have to choose peace. Sometimes that can mean walking away from family or friends or jobs or situations, but you have to make that choice. Life is just too short to stay in situations that are robbing us of our peace. Wow, yes, I can tell you, if you're in a situation right now, whether that's in a job or a friendship or a relationship that's destroying our peace, then we have to walk away for our own health and well-being. So stay encouraged today, guys. And click here to watch a vid from the channel that YouTube thinks that you'll like the best. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.